Hello everyone, once again welcome to my IIT channel. So today's video is related to exam oriented uh, students. So those who are going to attend exam, I hope this video will be helpful. So uh, first I will start with the writing. So when, uh, when you are going to write the letter, just keep three things in your mind. So I want to tell you four things. The first three things are related to uh, present medical paragraph. So there are some different types of uh, questions in this 2022 and this is going to be uh, a twisting questions. So almost uh, you will get some confusion somewhere when you are writing the present medical paragraph. One question it is related to multiple cases. If you have multiple cases like uh, two cases example like Parkinson's disease and depression. So it is some some um, a May, sometimes it may be related sometimes these questions or conditions may be irrelated something it's happened before the admission something may happen it's during the hospitalization whatever if you have uh, two case not that two diagnosis if you are to write it in introduction keep it in your mind make two paragraph in present medical paragraph that pa medical paragraph can be divided into two in the first paragraph you can mention about one disease condition and the cause how it's happened and what is the management you have given and what is the current situation and next paragraph you can write about the next condition and in that second paragraph at the end you can just give a sum what is the overall status of the patient so like that we can sum up in that situation another one if you have um uh, like um, known case if you have known case letter and uh, there are some old history they have given and uh, it's uh, followed by home visit so how we can write always in present medical paragraph the first paragraph make some stories from the starting when the condition has started you can start from there then you can come to the second paragraph in the second paragraph you can just start with the home visit so what you have to do in the ending end of the present uh, the first present medical paragraph you have to mention why this home visit has been arranged and in the next paragraph you can write all related to home visits at the end of that paragraph you can write what is the current status and why you are requesting the letter it is like a simple sum, sum up so that is the second one and another one more thing it is related to urgent letter so if you want to write urgent letter always according to the updates uh, always start with the today's case that means today's what today what happened so when you are writing today today what happened mostly it will be home visit so you can just start with how the home visit or for what the home visit has to, um, initiated under your nursing service then you can tell that is only one sentence then you can continue with today's instead what are the things it's happened then at next paragraph you can just start with the old history if there is like old history means start with initially okay initially these are all the things happen and at the end of this paragraph you can just come to home visit therefore um, he has been arranged with our home visit so these are all the three things i want to tell you regarding the present medical paragraph then the fourth one i just want to tell you regarding the introduction so introduction means mostly you will not get confusion but in some cases uh, there will be two conditions so that is the thing you will get um, confused whether we have to write two conditions or it will be only one so like that so always see the recommendation it will be easy for you to find out in the recommendation just you can see what all the recommendations are given example if it is related to two conditions that means you have to write the two conditions in the introduction if it is related to only one so mostly the um, present medical in the present medical paragraph itself we can uh, give the importance for other conditions but presently currently to um, I mean uh, what all the conditions are there for the patient still we need some assistance so according to that try to make the introduction paragraph so in introduction paragraph don't write always the diagnosis sometime diagnosis they will give and the surgery also so no need to write the diagnosis there you have to write the patient is recovering or recuperating from that surgical procedure so always keep it in your mind in the introduction you are going to write recent present condition not always the diagnosis sometimes it can be the diagnosis but most of the time it will be like recuperating recovering or has been diagnosed or sometime only you can use has and all and sometimes you, you may get uh, confusion whether you have to use has been or you have to use uh, you have to use was diagnosed has been diagnosed means for the reason uh, recently if it is diagnosed you can write has been diagnosed with if it is very old condition you can just write was diagnosed and then one more thing i want to explain you that is important point in present medical paragraph example there is one condition 
but it is like exacerb exacerbated condition or worsening but this condition is already there for many years and patient is on medication or treatment how we can start always start in the present medical paragraph with the has had example mr x has had chronic obstructive pulmonary disease since 2016 and joined this medication but today what happened today also patient has the same problem but it is like exacerbation of copd or infective copd so something it can happen alzheimer's disease or parkinson disease or can be a hypertension diabetic or whatever like a chronic condition renal failure also so something something is happening like a worsened um, version that is today's case not means always that pa the past history you have to write it in the present medical paragraph it has had okay mr x has had this condition since this year and he is on this medication and start with then again continue with recently recently on this date patient presented with this 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 so on like that you can sum up so these are all the things it is related to writing so i hope this video is uh, helpful for you i will make another one video for speaking don't miss that one also i will come back with that one until then bye take care